I had an accident at work, chemical accident. It affected my lungs and I've had trouble breathing, been intubated about eight times. Just real sick and I come here often with pneumonia and lung problems and breathing problems. The problem we were encountering before we developed the care plans was that we identified a group of individuals who use the emergency room very frequently. And so we took that group of people and tried to find a way that we could better help serve their needs rather than having to have them come to the emergency room every time that they needed some health care. This was initiated by one of our social workers, Marilyn. Um, she brought it to our attention that there was an opportunity to apply for a grant through Transamerica. And she said, I think this is something that we can do, we can apply for and um, start this program as a pilot and see if we can um, do a better job for our patients. We're not trying to keep people out of the emergency room if they truly need to be here, but we want to connect them to appropriate resources if they need non-emergent care. Before the program was pretty miserable. <laughs> Always had a lot of problems, always in and out of the hospital, just sick all the time with breathing problems. And uh, put in ICU a lot, spent week to two weeks at a time up here, sometimes more. The most important component to this program is the consistency piece. And I think that's achieved in a couple different ways. Um, when we um, put patients into the program, we develop a care plan for them, and on there it actually has a plan of care for when the patient presents to the emergency department. And one of the ways that I think as staff, and especially as the case manager, that we reach out to those providers is I will call them. With the care plans, we're able to provide consistency for the patients because regardless of which physician they see in the emergency room, we have over 20 providers in the ER and over 80 nurses. So regardless of who is helping them, they get that consistency in care because it's all written out for them in the care plan. When working with the patients in the program, if they don't have a primary care physician, as much as possible, we do try to refer them to primary care physicians who are within the St. Luke's family. If you have that primary care physician and they know you, they know your medical needs, and they probably know more, a lot more about you than just your medical needs, they're better able to serve you and your medical needs and coordinate your care. I think the other piece of it is, is having the case manager position. It's one person always following up with that patient. By having, being a part of this program, we have one person they can go to if they're confused about what recommendation from which doctor they're supposed to follow. That care coordinator can pull it all together in a way that the patient can understand. The biggest part of my role is being that person who gets to look at the whole picture, to look at each patient as an individual and see what's going on with them and what their needs are. And whatever their needs are, that's where we're going to start. I think the way that we've gotten good results out of the program is to all work together to make sure that we're doing this to achieve the same goal for the patients. I am extremely proud of the staff. I think um, we really value our mission and we see people live it every day, um, which is to provide the health care we want our loved ones to receive. And to me, this just emulates that. These individuals said, this isn't what I would want for my family member, and there's got to be a better way. But we've had a lot of success stories with patients in that they feel like someone cares about them and someone wants them to receive the care that they need. Sally keeps in contact with me. Sally comes down to the ER and it's a big help to me. What I try to do is really focus on where's Teresa today, you know, with medical care, um, family, you know, social situation, housing. Sally is my lifeline because whenever I'm upset or down, I can count on contacting Sally and Sally gets me through the day. I think the changes that I've seen in Teresa, especially recently, is just that, that optimism, you know, wanting to move forward. 
It's also been exciting to see that we've been able to keep the emergency room patients who are at high risk out of the emergency room more often. In 2012, we reduced their visits by over 1,400 with a cost savings to our healthcare system of over 1.1 million. I can tell you that the feedback that I've gotten from the emergency department staff has been very positive in regards to this program because there was some frustration revolving around these frequent users of the emergency department. I truly believe that this is a fantastic program and it really is about what is in the patient's best interest. For me that's really awesome and to feel like yeah that's what it, what's been accomplished with this program and I am very very excited to be part of the program and to know that it is having those better outcomes for patients every time. A life without the program I would probably have already given up. I'm glad for the program. I'm happy for it. I don't know where I'd be without it. <laughs>